Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am at Goodwill and I'm gonna do a little thrift with me. Um, I've shown you guys so many times, but I have this one wall that I want to do a gallery wall on and I want to mix some baskets in. So that's the goal today. I really want to find a cute wall basket for that. Um, a company sent me some prints, so I already have the prints. I just need a basket and I'm sure I will find other goodies i mean can't say no right so i will take you guys with me and see what i find Well guys, that was a huge bust. Just to be honest, sometimes when you go into thrift stores, you just don't find anything. I could like hardly even find anything that was cool to film for you guys. So have a little bit of footage I'll put in, but nothing too spectacular. I did get, I'm not gonna, well, okay, I'll pick it up. It's just so sparkly. I got this wreath. I just thought it was really cool and modern looking like a lot of wreaths that you find at thrift stores are usually like old and have a bunch of gaudy Christmassy things on them so I was excited to find that I'll definitely save that for Christmas time um I'm gonna go to one more store I think hopefully I find some good stuff
informal haul for you guys um and then i want to decorate that open space on my wall with you guys i think that'd be really fun i can show you the new prints that were sent to me and then i can show you um how i incorporate like thrifted pieces with new because i am going to do some baskets on that wall as well um first the haul so first i got you guys might recognize this from another haul um i actually found another one this is the shorter version so i had the i had two tall and a medium and this is the small um i'm definitely going to probably sell the medium and this one um just because i don't need any more i already have them up on my open shelves and i just don't have any more room for them and i'm not really one to keep this type of stuff if i don't have room for it so that was really cool and everything in the store was half off so this was two dollars next up is this gold candlestick you guys know i have a lot of these around my house oops sorry i have a lot of these around my house um and i just like to collect these and i'll eventually when i have enough maybe sell them in a lot so you guys can do like a tablescape as well um this one was 50 cents because again half off I thought this was so cute. It is a little gold butterfly trivet. So trivet, I'm sure most of you know, but you just put hot stuff on it. I just thought this was really cute. I love butterfly decor. I think it's so bohemian and pretty. And so I'll be putting this up in my shop. Oh, and that was a dollar. And then next, if you guys have seen my thrifted jewelry video, you know that I love thrifted jewelry i want this to focus so you can see the details so i got these two little dainty earrings they're like the perfect size i'll clean them really well but i just think that these are so cute i love wearing gold jewelry so i think that these will be perfect addition to my collection next up um and i should mention that oh okay back it up Delaney those earrings were 50 cents and I should mention all of this is from the second store I went to so not the Goodwill the second store that I filmed in um at Goodwill I only got that wreath that I showed you guys like I said that was not a very fruitful trip but this one was pretty good so I'm happy with it um this was a dollar and it's this really pretty vintage brass little bowl on a stand i don't know i just think this would be really cute to put fruit and stuff in i really liked that next up are three vintage hats these were 50 cents each i know that this isn't really home decor but like i said i'm a reseller so i like to pick up vintage things that i can sell as well um this one's by far my favorite it is from 1997 and it just says level headed and then it has a level glued on right here I think that is so funny and so unique. I know that there is a buyer out there who probably loves to wear like cheeky hats like this. So I'm excited about that one. This one is a vintage Indiana Hoosiers hat. And then lastly is this vintage Ford hat. And then the last thing that I got are three Veer Bradley bags. One is the bigger duffel, the smaller duffel, and then a garment bag. Um, it is a vintage print from, I'm trying to look it up, I think the 80s or 90s. And if you didn't know, vintage discontinued prints from Vera Bradley sell really well. So I'll just sell all of those in a set together. Um, and I picked those up for $6. Let me go grab them and I'll show you. All right, so the first one is the garment bag. Here is the print up close for you guys. It is like a paisley print. It's definitely very vintage. And then the smaller duffel and the bigger duffel. So like I said, I paid $6 for all of those and I should be able to sell those on eBay for, I'm gonna shoot for $160, but we will see. So now I, wanted to show you guys um the space i'm going to be decorating and i'll just film me decorating it and talk about it a little bit it's like a little before and after i've shown this in many videos now and so i thought you guys would like to see what i decided to do with decorating you guys have given me some tips but yeah 
All right, you guys have seen it before, but again, I just wanted to show you like a little before, excuse the mess, I'm like, oops, sorry. I'm like prepping to hang things. So this is the space that I want to decorate, as well as here, I wanna just put a rug out, you know, angle the chairs, like make it all look really nice. I got three prints. And what I did was lay them all out on craft paper and, and basically traced around them so I had their exact shape. And what I'll be doing with that is putting them up on the wall, taping them, so I can see exactly where I want each one to go before I try to hang them and make a thousand holes in the wall. That's a little trick that I've learned over the you can use um, r old wrapping paper, old newspaper, craft paper, whatever it is, trace it around, tape it on the wall. It helps to just really, for me, I'm a visual person, so if I'm doing a gallery wall, I wanna visualize it all before I put it all up. All right, first things first, I cleared out my chairs, cleared everything away from the wall, and um, I'm going to start hanging up those craft paper cutouts but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of an up close of the pictures I will have the website linked down below but it was such a great website to work with um, they had tons of prints I know that you guys would love because we have such a similar style I'm sure if you're watching me um, but I kind of went for some abstract art but they had tons and tons and then they had options where you could buy them just as prints or you could buy them with the frame um, and I chose to get ones with this white oak finish and I love them they came packed so well and as you can see they are just super unique and good quality so that's the medium size one Here is the small one, and here is the large one. I love how abstract this is, and I just think that it'll go really well on this wall. I also think I wanna use this basket. It is the perfect size. I have a couple more baskets down here, and I'll just play around with it and see if I wanna put those up as well. Um, I was looking for a basket that I could cover this with, um, just something that would be easily to easy to remove um, but I didn't ever find one that worked so I'll probably just work with it how it is all right had to put my hair up for this um, a little trick that I learned from TikTok is to Put a dot of toothpaste right here where you want to screw it and then push it up against the wall after you've leveled it and everything and then take it off and that dot of toothpaste will be on the wall and you put your nail right below it and it's supposed to be like perfectly hung every time so I'm gonna try it out happy with it the wall's done anyways now i'm gonna put the furniture back put down a rug the rug that i showed you guys that i won for free on instagram um put the plant in place and then i'll show you the final reveal okay guys it is done i am so happy with it excuse the glare i might end up taking the glass out of them so it doesn't have that glare um but i'm so happy with it here's the rug it is too small for this spot, I know, but it was free and that's what I have for now, so it's staying there. I also don't love this table, it's an outdoor table, but I really needed to get this plant off the ground, so that's what I'm using. I'm on the search at thrift stores for a nice little side table to put there. For now, that will work. And then I have my thrifted chairs 
and my beautiful new gallery wall thanks to Fi. And then I got this vintage basket off of Poshmark. That is it for today's video. I hope that you liked decorating with me. You guys know I've been trying to fill this space for so long, so I'm so happy to finally have it done. And make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm sure I'll be posting lots of photos of this space. And thanks for watching, guys. See ya!